Okay, so I only need three of these. Makes it a bit easier. There's one right there, along with a Gravitino ball. I don't actually know if Gravitino balls are worth, uh, worth money. Or how much they're worth, I guess. Right as hell. Whoa, that was new. Oh, they didn't like that. See you later. So grabbing Gravitino balls uh, really pisses them off. I guess I actually do remember that. Right, uh, let's see. Well, well, they look for me. I might as well just uh, grab some ferrite. We're going to need tons anyway. bit more successful at finding me than I thought they would be. Alright, we run. Luckily, I'm uh, a little bit faster. I think they pretty much know where you are automatically. It's just a matter of... Uh... Okay, I should refuel that. They pretty much know where you are automatically. It's just a matter of... Uh... Continuously running away from them instead. I was hoping by hiding on the other side of that rock they just lose my trail But no dice anyway, so we don't want to go into space Because there's kind of a thin window that is the planetary atmosphere where they won't bother you It's kind of nice uh, Let's see so what kind of resources do we get from this sucker a lot of gold? I'm sure gold is useful but I'm not, I'm not really here for it. Yeah, so I gotta get uh, better guns before I go for those guys. There it is, tritium. I wanna pick up some, because we need more fuel. Oh, if you mine it, it resets their search thing. That's what happened. Okay, I was, I was hoping I could get some stuff done. Well, they were uh, well, they're after me, but I guess even though they don't necessarily see me break the rock, they still know that I broke the rock. Okay. Well, now we're done with that. How do we? There we go. Let's hope we aren't we don't live in Rumbleton now that we've moved here. Otherwise I'm gonna have to uh I'm gonna have to give everybody the buddy the boot. Just for a bit. Yeah, it looks like oh hello. Starship monitor monitoring system, error guidance system malfunction. Searching for other routes. Searching, searching. Obtained. Destination 16, 16, 16, 16, 16 KLS. Accept new guidance? Sure. Guidance accepted. Plotting route. That's cool that you can see the planet on the other side of the, uh... Uh, you can see the planet on the other side of the rings. That's not a bad looking planet, honestly. I think the rumble is because you warp in third person. Oh, that is very possible, actually. So now I can use portals. Okay, cool. I guess I'll go for the fuel source first and see if this is a planet I need to care about.
I mean, it looks nice from above, but it's, uh, no, actually, no, this is probably one of those crappy ice planets that actually doesn't look very good. Yeah, no, looks like a less exciting ice planet than I'd like to be on. Stream quality rest in peace when traveling through warp. Oh, yeah. No, this game has a lot of special effects that don't look so hot. On stream. Sucker does not like landing. I guess it was coming in pretty hot. Okay. I think this is just going to give me some warp fuel. Nothing exciting. I'm in a hole now. It's one thing I really do like about this game, though. Uh, if you do... Uh, run out of fuel in a hole. As long as there's kind of a vertical surface up, you can actually just, uh, you can just kind of fly up. It's nice. And we might as well pick up a bunch of sodium as we go by. Salt. Wait, no, there's a, there's actually, like, a, a separate resource that's just salt, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, well. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. I guess I need a certain amount. There we go. Gek Monolith. Okay. Unlike anything I've encountered in my journey so far, everything about it is so obviously, a uh, so obviously alien, so obviously out of place. I stare at it. Words form themselves in my mind. A strange fragment of broken speech. Is it traveler? Is it friend? I am friend! I feel strange, responding to questions I'm unsure that I'm being asked. But something has clearly taken my notice of my reply. I'm overwhelmed by a sense that something has awoken. Something is watching me. It forms another question. Is it first? Is it last? It's last. I do not know how I'm being spoken to. This monolith is ancient, and I cannot escape the feeling it has asked these questions many times over. It asks again, has it seen the Crimson Eye? Has the Crimson Eye seen it? The Crimson Eye has seen it. Likelihood of anomaly exceeds safety parameters. Breach detected. Alert, alert, the boundaries, boundaries fall. The walls collapse. Your universe awaits. Find us, Traveler. And we get a warp suit. Cool. Head back from my ship. And see if we can find the thing. You can check No Man's Sky Discord channel. You found a cool multi-tool. Alright. Let, let's see what this uh, sucker looks like. Oh, that does look cool. Get a, get a good picture of it in your hand if you can. I think if you go into photo mode, you can actually look at the thing. Let's see. How do the monoliths work? Is there a wrong answer or no? Uh, for the story ones, no. There's no wrong answer. I think it just changes, uh... It, it just ch changes flavor text. Oh, not getting get the knowledge stones while there? Oh, were there some? I wasn't even paying attention. I immediately was just like, Pyro found a cool multi-tool! And then I got distracted. We... Yeah, we're still in Rumble Town. I yeah, put it on stream. Uh, it was like a tiny icon. It looked cool, but I, I want to see like the full thing before uh, I put it on stream. Okay, so we got the Gek word for Gek. Or no, the, the Gek word for give. Hi. Yeah, I, to I totally missed that these were here. I wasn't really paying a whole lot of attention. Okay, I think... I think that's a lot of them, at least in this area. There's probably stuff that I should look for. Let's check. I can never get these subterranean relics. It always, always... just breaks on me. Or disappears. Gone.
Anybody know how to get those safely? I guess I should have... I don't think I would have found that cave particularly easily. Okay, I'll, uh, let's go into, is it on general options? No. Graphics options? Maybe it is on general. I don't see an option to, uh, to turn off the shake. Motion blur amount, light shafts, max S FPS. No, I don't see anything about shaking. Okay, whatever. I'll keep working on, uh finding one of those, like, buried artifacts. Is that another one right there? Okay, let's try this again. Because I really would like to actually find a subterranean relic. I keep seeing that they're listed. gonna kind of skirt this thing until I find a cave in the area I was hoping I would find a cave okay I found it oh it's these things just a bunch of vortex cubes. Okay, that's actually less exciting than I thought it would be. Yeah, why do they always just destroy if I if I try and dig down on top of them? It does not like the fact that I found a secret little cave hole. At all. Okay. Uh I guess I can actually dig out of here. Let's see if I can walk out though. It's nice that I can do either. Uh, not immediately seeing anything, so we'll have to dig out. Okay, there we go. So going for the uh, going for the buried artifacts is actually way less cool than I uh, thought it would be. It's just some money. I mean, it is worth money. Oh, right. I was going to refuel my life support. I got oxygen. At some point, I'll have to get more. I'm really hoping we can, uh... I'm really hoping we can go farming at some point. Okay, guys. I will admit, I think I'm going to have to quit out. Um, be This rumble bug is starting to bother me. So I'm just going to quit out to mode select. It won't actually screw you over at all. Uh, I don't think... Okay, and while we're at it, uh, I guess while we load back in to so play a game, uh, same one. If we load back into the universe, let's take a look at that that better picture of the uh, the better gun. Oh, there it is. That's a sweet gun, actually. Let's put on display capture for a second, if you wanna. There we go. So that is uh, Pyro's new gun. It looks really cool. I can't wait till I get a better one, because currently I've just got like a dinky looking blaster, and I'm not a big fan of it. Oh, hey Diesel, how's it going? Uh, let's see. You're welcome to join, uh, to join me at any point. I'm trying to finish, uh, or not, uh, it's kind of whatever. Uh, I'm currently trying to finish up as many of the, uh, tutorial objectives as possible, so I can just do things. Oh, hello. 
There's strange powers at work. I've been left messages, crumbs, that lead me along a trail. Should I seek answers? Should I investigate these anomalies and breaches? Or should I enjoy the galaxy on my own terms and avoid whatever trouble this is surely leading towards? Search for answers! Okay. So we should have the anomaly in system. There you are. Sup? Is this the side that opens, or am I on the wrong side? I'm just going to bump into the side of this. Whoops. God, this song is so good. There's the entrance. I remembered a vault door looking thing. Oh, jeez. Low orbit anomalies are a little funkadoodle. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, I remember these doors would open up, but I didn't exactly know how. But yeah, the uh, the whole search for answers thing is going to take some uh, serious time because I'm probably just going to immediately uh, do whatever I feel like for quite a while. Hello! 16. The panels and systems idle. Nada stares at them, their mask waning. This single word issuing from their mask, their refrain. 16. Traveler hopes to make progress. Traveler tests themselves. Nada will help. An exchange. Progress for project. Progress. Transmit milestone data. You've seen much, but do you understand? Not for Nada to know. Please take this. Thousand, thousand nanite clusters. Oh, shit. That's not a small amount. Traveler hopes to make progress. Test themselves. Nada will help. Okay, so I gotta get some more milestones, which means scanning animals. Friends everywhere. If you only know how to where to look. Friends in all shapes, all sizes, all places. The Gek wipes their grease-splattered hands on their suit. As they address me, they introduce themselves as Specialist Polo, fugitive of the Gek. They tell me they gave up trade, units, and all material possessions to flee, flee into an anomaly outside of time and space with a robotic priest. If jocular air about them, all things considered. They are curious about my travels, about what sentient species I have seen. They do not get out much these days. Find data for Polo. Okay. So collect alien data. So milestone recognized for alien encounters. Yeah. Let's take a look at this while we're here. This is a substantially worse multi-tool than the one I'm currently carrying around, so hard pass. I don't think there's anything else to... Uh, immediately a mess around with. So I gotta meet some more aliens. Which means talking to people. Okay, next order of business. I'm not a big fan of these uh, freighters. But this one looks kind of interesting. Let's see how big it is. Because they say your first freighter is free. Well, maybe maybe we can find a good one before I uh, before I settle. Freighters also tend to have the better ships come and go, uh, so this might not be a bad bad situation for me to just you know take a peek and see if I get a better one. Oh, it's over there. The one Viking friend you met at the sorts, uh, start, sort of messed up your v progression a bit, skipping your head massively on your multi-tool. Or the si size of that story quest re reward-based multi-tool. It, I think it's kind of random, actually. It's, bleh, I'm not able to read words out right now. I've got, I've got a splitting headache. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is different. They've changed the interiors on freighters. Let's look around for a bit. Right, I forgot that you can make bases on your freighter. I wonder if you can teleport to your freighter now. Huh. There's this whole room up here.
Collection of illustrious baubles. Whoa, that's worth some money. Tetra Cobalt. Oh, it's just concentrated cobalt. I still need that Atlas Pass. Someday. It's neat that you can actually explore these now. Oh, you need to save the freighter from space pirates, and that one's free. This one isn't under attack when you came, so you didn't save it's not free. I see. I've heard from people that the first one, uh, first one you find, period, is free, but I guess I'm wrong. Hello, Captain Hood. Your face. What's wrong with it? Oh, God. Uh, air of weary authority clearly marks this being as the freighter's captain. Did they tire of the burden of ownership, I wonder? The responsibility of the life and livelihood of the crew must weigh heavily on their mind. They seem amenable to an offer. Offer to buy the freighter. It's, uh, it's an okay freighter, but outside of my price range. Bye. Yeah, so we'll just go until I, I get one for free. And that way I can trade up. While we're here, I'm kind of a picky person when it comes to getting new ships, but this one looks pretty cool. How big are you? Uh, let's sell items to him first. I should have some things worth something. So, Gravitino Ball, not worth much. Oh, I can only sell from my exosuit inventory. Well, what about, uh, what about buying your starship? How big is it? It's got 27 slots. That's better. I can exchange for... I'm just shy. 27 slots would be nice. Oh, but it doesn't actually have any of the... Oh, no, it does. Okay, don't, don't you dare leave. I believe if I, if I just stand on this, we're good. Alright, starship. I got some money. So the reason why I want this one... ...is it's got some more space... ...and uh, a drive that lets me go to a rare star system. Which is an attractive pro prospect. So do we buy this one? Or, uh, because what am I, what am I at? I've got a bunch. Hyperdrive range is pretty short, but it does have the Emerald Drive, which is fairly rare. It's got space in it, too. Yeah, let's, let's just get this. Can I trans, I can transfer items this time. Cool. Uh, we'll still be down to warp cell, but whatever. Yeah, buy it, but don't forget about your warp cell. Yup. Because, yeah, this will let me go to Green Stellar Bodies, which... That's an that's a really attractive prospect for me. Alright, so now I get a new ship. And a poor again, but that's fine. Okay. So, now let's head for the space station. Blech. Okay, so we're looking for space station. Let's go grab it. Probably proximity is the problem. Yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah, so you transfer items on the negotiate screen now, which you didn't used to be able to do, which is fair. Yeah, just go farm the eggs. I could. Uh, they're kind of hard to find. I'm just gonna play around. But honestly, now that I've got, um, now that I've got a considerable, oh, we offer a trade deal, friend. Your units or your life. No. Very well, friend. Let's move on to more aggressive negotiations.
That's three. Okay, that could be a problem. Do I have? I've got a bunch, but this thing is not meant for combat. Oh, I don't remember liking the combat system in this at all. Okay, so in that case, try something else. No, I bet I can't. I bet I can't escape them. How do I switch weapons? Or I can just repair the shield. Okay, uh, anybody remember how to switch weapons on this thing? Is it G? Or maybe I don't have one. Can I fly in third person? I can. I just don't necessarily know if it's a good idea. It might be easier to see where the hell my enemies are. Other op option is actually very simply head for the space station. It's two minutes of being shot at though, which is tough. Okay, that one's actually looking pretty hurt. If I can kill him, awesome. If I can't, well, I die. I've got plenty of salt that I can just pile into this thing. Just have to kill one of these guys. And hit him dead on. Damn it, didn't get him. I've got sodium nitrate as well. This is yeah, the basic pho photon can cannon is Garbo. All right, there we go. Shield recharge, and we get a ton of pugnium for it. Looks like the other one is actually uh. Nope, the other one's still on, on my tail. Said it was out of range for a second. Standing with the Gekka's decreased. What? Why? Because I'm killing their space pirates? That's stupid. Let's see, do I have rockets on my ship? No, it doesn't look like I've got any rockets, unfortunately. Yeah, and it looks like uh, it looks like other players are able to come by and back me up because Pyro just shot that one out of the sky. That's cool. All right. Well, anyway, I was heading for the uh, station. I'll have to pick up some more salt. And it looks like that did rank me up. Regardless. But yeah. Thanks for the assist. I'll have to pile some more weapons onto this thing, missiles and the like. There used to be the uh, the mining lasers or. Uh, there used to be lasers that you could, uh, that, like, kind of did an auto-fire, auto-aim kind of situation. It was awesome. Can other players shoot each other down? Yes, I think. There is friendly fire in this game, which is kind of annoying, but honestly, if Pyro started to, uh, try and shoot me down, I'd just kick him from the session instead. Oh, this thing flies like a boat. That said, I mostly bought it so I'd have inventory space more than anything else. We'll eventually upgrade to one of the, like, really high-tier ships. I missed my old S-Class. Uh, was it S-Class? It might have only been A-Class. But S or A-Class, like, super rare, cool ship. I'll work on that later. Okay, so this is a, uh, Gek place. Hi, Pyro. Thank you. Okay, so what do we... Oh, right. I was gonna go... I was gonna go over here and look at Gek Tech. Because Gek stuff is spaceship-based, if I remember right. Viking is, is your own guns? It might be different. I could be wrong. Okay. So trade nanite clusters for blueprints. So we can get the personal force field... 
Uh, powerful personal shield. Waveform recycler. Better scan rate. Precision in combat. Let's see, rapid fire, scatter blaster. Why was that red? I have no idea. Okay. That was weird. Uh, let's see. What about upgrade modules? Mining beam, bolt caster, plasma. I don't know why it, it goes red every once in a while. Some of these, like the mining beam module, might actually be kind of cool. But yeah, I should start with the weapon first. I think I can just make the weapon. I've just been lazy because it required some carbon nanotubes. I should probably just make some carbon nanotubes. I think I've got the tech for it. Or the tech, I've got the supplies. Okay, what do I need for the advanced mining laser? Carbon nanotubes. Oh, so I, yeah, I can make those too. Well, let's talk to this guy. Oh. Random nanites. Okay, so what's this guy got? The teleport receiver. Can receive... Uh, send and receive products over a long distance. So we want to pick this one up. Because it's awesome. Oh! Cadmium drive. Uh, lets you go to red star systems. Yes. So long range sensor... Economic data about a star system without having to visit. I don't actually know if that's that helpful. Let's see, a blade of armor. So shield strength plus 10%. Yeah, let's grab that. Emerald drive. Okay, so now I can make those. Interesting. I can't scroll up or down. But yeah, I want to buy as many of these as I can. I wonder if you should personalize your character. I did. Okay, so what does this guy have? Shield Lattice. Hazard Protection... That? Oh, interesting. So that's that's just all hazard hazard protection. Oh, the hazmat gauntlet requires Gek rank 3. Well, you know what? Let's just leave. One of the dock ships has 47 slots and is worth 87 mil. Oh, this... This big sucker. I want the small ones. The W and S on the scroll bar. Maybe you tap those to scroll? No. Uh, it would actually have these like little transparent uh, circles. Or they're kind of hard to see. But it have little circles there to indicate that you can... Um, you can go there. And... Um, or you you can scroll up and down. Not so, not so in this case. Alright, let's see if I can warp now. Please tell me I can just teleport. Thank you. Okay, Wanderer's Best Bot Terminus. Yes! Uh, if you guys want, I'm gonna just, uh... I'm just gonna start naming some of the discoveries, uh, for the systems as we've gone by. So instead of... Amingi, because I'm- no, none of us are ever gonna remember what Amingi is. Let's call this the, uh... So this is the Gemroth Memorial Star System. And, um, oops. Uh, this one's gonna be. Gatlin Laser smells like pancakes. If you guys want to name uh, planets that you guys find along the way, uh, we'll go from there. But this way it'll be a lot easier for me to remember. Because uh, if I can remember all of these things. Um, by, like, naming them dumb shit, then I can go back to them. And not have to worry about it. So I'm gonna... Oh! I get nanite clusters for uploading discoveries. Alright, one second. Hold on. So if I upload every discovery that I've got, I just get tons of nanite clusters? Frickin' yes? I'm not even gonna name the animals, cause like, I don't, I don't care. 
Nanite clusters, here I come. Probably should have named the planets. Okay, I'll, I'll avoid naming planets from now on, but critters? Critters get the naming. And yeah, complete to get like 500 nanites or something like that? I gotta, I gotta start doing that. Okay. But, so that's a bunch of nanites. Let's, uh, let's actually go back to, uh... Oh, it's not G. Maybe it'll take a little bit to load. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to the... Wanderbot Terminus. Because I'm... I'm a better friend with the Viking at this point. Does the upper arrow at the bottom upload all? Yeah, but I, I wanna... I wanna... Uh, name things interesting stuff. Can I get missions from you? Okay. Hey, there's work. Alright, so... Take a photo on a scorched world. That's not really worth it. Kill three sentinels. Neural duct. I don't know exactly what that one's gonna be. Okay. Hot ice. Quantum processor. Assault a freighter, though. Eww. Cactus flesh. I don't know about that. Uh, kill eight sentinels, though. The kill sentinels ones, I like. They're relatively easy to do. And I should be able to do this one, like... Oh, insufficient rank. So I gotta rank up. Oh, they're red because I can't do them. But no, I can't, I can't even do the Assault the Freighter mission. And I mean, I had trouble against three pirates. Going after a freighter is a problem. This guy doesn't like me though. I guess we'll have to do that later. Okay, ask for directions. I'm just gonna kind of mess around in this system for a little while. Uh, we've got a lot of things left to do. And I don't really like uh, New New Space Mexico. But I might as well do it anyway. I wonder if these guys... Oh. He's offering me a multi-tool and thanks. Oh, it's one of the cool ones. Let's compare. Uh, let's see. So mine is 13 slots. His is 13 slots. Mine is a little bit better. But I'm not sure why. Yeah, I mean, except for the fact that I got the bolt caster that I just made, which I can remake. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. His is worth, uh, two million. Mine is worth 300. Yeah, absolutely, then. Keep trading those up. It's, like, almost the exact same gun, but not quite. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that guy's one. Let's see, mark an area in the south this time around. Ask for directions. Okay, so now we've got a bunch of places to check out. Uh, let's see. I think my ship is fine for the time being. I'll, I'll look at it later. We're going to have to go make a bunch of money, and I kind of want to go just look at things for a little while. While we're here, I wanted to go over to this section. I also want to make sure I can warp back to my base. Even though my base is... Honestly, nothing. Okay. So, what can I buy here? I guess I'll buy the personal force field. It's probably helpful. The rest, I think I might wait on. At least for a little while. Combat scope seems kind of interesting. Okay. So this guy has... Yeah, a lot of these are just upgrades. I'm not against them. 
But I want to save my nanites for things that I immediately need. Okay, there's the hazmat gauntlet. And rocket boots. Huge leaps with ease. Hell yeah, we'll have to figure out how to get a... A number of these things, but whatever. Okay. And we already know everything else that he has. The other thing I wanted to check... Is what about upgrade modules? Life support, movement module. Shield module might not be bad, but I'm going to buy the movement module. Probably should have saved for... Or, yeah, I, I pretty much just want to pick up an insane amount of movement modules. I mean, imagine if I had plus, like, two, three hundred percent speed. I would love that. Just being able to, like, run forever at high speeds. Alright. Uh, let's see. So we want to go to... Well... What did I need for this carbon nano? Ugh. Okay, that was a little bit more expensive than I thought. Anyway, tech. So I can make a hazmat gauntlet, finally. Rocket boots. Wait, where's the, um... Oh. Okay, so unstable diffuser, uh, moderate upgrade for the movement system. Is that the only one like that I grabbed? I think it is. Okay, but that'll give us a, a little bit of a speed boost. Doesn't feel like much, but if I can get a couple more of those, I'll I'll be in a I'll, I'll be in a good position. So anyway, water you should be able to moat. Yep. I want to find a nice, pretty planet to just sit on. Land on me. Okay, that was not as effective as I wanted. Anyway, right. I was going to go see if I could, um... I was going to go see if I could, uh, warp down my own, my own home. Because if I can, if I can warp in and out, uh... Then that's going to make this easier. Because what I'd like to do is just make a, a giant network of teleporters. And, oh, you know what? Hey guys, uh, if you find a planet that you don't really care about, instead of giving it a dumb name... Um... Maybe name it, uh... Maybe name it something like the resources that you get from it. Uh, so like, Cobalt's... Uh, salt, so on and so forth, and just kind of name it really basic things. With, like, uh, a, a short name. Alright, anyway, this is not my... Yeah, this is my shit shack. Perfect. Can I rename this base? Okay, rename base. Perfect. This is going to be... The, um... This is going to be Tropical Resort Landia. And while we're at it... What did I need to make a gun again? Chromatic metal, metal and nanotubes. It's a bit more than I was bargaining for. Well, we're gonna kill this guy at the very least. I don't actually know if that was worth it. But I'm gonna shoot him anyway. But yeah, name your bases if you can. Uh, as like, I probably should rename it to Wander's Base. But it might just be easier if I just name all my bases something... Uh, particularly uh, notable. Because, yeah, effectively, if we can have, like, a, a, a friendly... If we can have a, a semi-friendly... Uh, question. Can I... 
Can I just do that? <laughs> See you later. Uh, because yeah, if we can have like a teleportation network, that'd actually be kind of cool. Uh, so where are we? Whose base am I at? That's my ship. Wait. This is just my base, isn't it? No. No, this is somebody else's shit shack. Is there anything of any interest? This is probably Soviet Fox's base. Okay, what do we got in the area? I figured I'd grab some things as we go by. I should probably look for copper while I'm here. Because I'm going to need it. We're also looking to, uh... To find one more creature if I can. So there's a beacon. Yeah, there's Soviet Fox. So yeah, we found his base. There's a sentinel in the area. Copper deposit. Okay. Well, let's head for the alien artifact first. And then I'll get some more copper. Yeah, the Viking word for units is actually pretty useful. Okay, so next up, we were... Oh. Hold on. The last critter that I need to find in this area is right there. Or it's not, I feel cheated. Wait, really? That is a horror. 